Question 151. Tongue is a freely movable muscular organ attached to the floor of the oral cavity by lingual frenulum, papillae, epiglottis or labial frenulum. Tongue which is shown here is a voluntary muscle and a glandular structure. It occupies the floor of the mouth here and it's connected to the floor of the mouth by a fold of tissue known as lingual frenulum which could be seen in this region and this frenulum prevents the tongue from falling backward whereas papillae are found on the dorsal surfaces of the tongue epiglottis prevents the entry of food into the trachea or windpipe and labial frenulum connects gum to the lips the correct answer here would be lingual frenulum answer is one Question 152. If teeth are embedded in the sockets of jawbone, then such type of dentition is called diphyodont, heterodont, thecodont, monophyodont. Let's look over each of these terminologies. The first one, diphyodont, means two sets of teeth. Second, heterodont means different types of teeth. For example, humans have incisors, canines, premolars, and molars, and so on. So, different types of teeth. Option number three, thecodont means when the teeth are embedded into the jawbone or jaw sockets. Those are called thecodont. And monophyodont means there's only one set of those teeth. The right answer here would be option number three, thecodont. Question 153. Part of human organ system which serves as a common passage for food and air is pharynx, larynx, trachea, glottis. Students, if you look at this structure here, this is the part when the food is swallowed, the food is here and this portion is the common portion. Now, food is prevented to enter into the trachea from epiglottis flap here and it goes into the esophagus here. So, this is the common passage called pharynx and it also pharynx also connects the nasal and the oral cavities with the larynx and esophagus the right answer here would be pharynx question 154 secretion of which cells protects the lining of gastrointestinal tract from hydrolytic activity of various enzymes zymogen cells parietal cells chief cells goblet cells Students, the mucosal epithelium of the small and large intestine have various goblet cells and they secrete mucus which helps in lubrication and it also prevents the lining from the hydrolytic activity of various enzymes. The right answer here is goblet cells. These cells secrete pepsinogen which is needed for the digestion of proteins. Parietal cells secrete HCL and intrinsic factor needed for vitamin B12 absorption. The right answer here would be option number four goblet cells question number 155 select the mismatch with respect to structure and its location column 1 and column 2 are given cryptolibocon found in small intestine that is right islets of langerhans found in pancreas that is also right panet cells found in duodenum that is also right and waldeyer's ring found in liver that's incorrect that's a mismatch the Waldeyer's ring is the lymphoid tissue of the pharynx and it's also called as tonsils and tonsils are arranged in a ring-like manner called as Waldeyer's ring. It consists of pharyngeal tonsils, tubal tonsils, palatine tonsils and lingual tonsils. The incorrect match here would be Waldeyer's ring. That makes it our right answer. Answer is 